hi everybody welcome back to my channel devotee i am devotee and i love you guys so much yeah we love you too when are, today you are i don't know if you want to be sexy or what but let's let's do it proper eh? welcome back to devotee where's your microphone eh? oh okay it's here so welcome back to Ndibuti. We appreciate you for joining us. And today I've got another interesting topic. You know, Musi, whenever I'm, I'm, I'm involved, eh, I come with them. Yeah, but when all your topics are about sex. Yeah, actually I love it. And I know most people, even those ones that don't want to admit, eh, you know, this is the sin, one sin that is mentioned in the Bible, that people love it. Eh? Like, they would, they would even defend it, this one, because they know the the the, the, the Munati Umo. Okay, no, I'm just I'm just off ramping now. Ne? Uh. So when you're talking about Munati mm. Umola and what what what, you've got a 20 year old son mm. who's Leana, why is... gonna watch this. Why it's Lian? Or Munati Umola. Hey, yo! <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. Eh? You know, ah, you know you what? He doesn't know. <laughs> I do I know? Was I with him? Ah. I, like he comment down below. I did never. <laughs> don't comment. So, yeah. Um, you, you even off ramped me now. Eh? So, here is the thing. I, I want to start this topic because we are going to talk about pornography. Porn, right? And porn in marriage um, or porn in a relationship. But I want to start it differently. And I want to talk about porn for people that are Christians. Okay. Is it okay for people that are Christians for them to watch porn? Um, I would say I don't really have a scripture to reference it to, mm. but I've been in services where in pastors were warning Christians not to watch those things. Mm. And one of the pastors even said that he himself was addicted to it. Mm. So it becomes an addiction that you do not want. It's a sin. Mm. He had to pray and fast for him to stop watching it mm. so growing up it's something that i've always thought okay it is a sin mm. but it's something that a christian person whether you're married or not you shouldn't be watching but i grew up watching it okay. i i remember from when i was still like 12 years i had a tv in my room and yeah so... <laughs> no and it was not something that i planned on watching growing up mm. But I would sometimes have insomnia, so I couldn't sleep. So oh, when I turn, then you go to watch Emmanuel. Yeah, I just like so I went there looking for it, but it was there on my screen. Like you know, you just scroll through at night. Like mm. okay, and back then it was like four channels. Mm. You didn't have DSTV. It was era, so it was SABC one, two, three, ETV. ETV was the one. ETV was, was the one. The other ones were playing news. Yeah. I was not gonna watch news. Of course. So you I had to go I, to DSTV, uh, ETV. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't have to go there, but it it it, it calls you. You know. So I grew up watching it. I enjoyed Scandal it. and and Emmanuel. Eh? I grew up watching it. I enjoyed it, but there's a point where I stopped watching it. Just J, I, I just got over it. Mm. But then, for those who know, I hey, maybe she doesn't want me to say it, but Ooh. I'll just say my sister. So I had a sister who yeah, was addicted. Who was addicted? We like, know you. Eh? Hey, you know yourself. You, you know are yourself. watching. So she would. I remember she would even tell my mom and said, "Ma, don't be surprised when you hear us waking up in the middle of the night. We are coming to study." <laughs> Yeah, she, would be, she, was she, was, she was studying. Yeah, and she would literally say, well, we have to go there together because if she wakes up and finds me alone, it will be strange. Mm. So I was forced to go and watch. Even when we moved to Pretoria in Tejari, we came to Ah, man, those stuff are we PG, were watching. Eh? Now PG, those ones. But now we, we had upgraded. Oh, you had upgraded? Yeah, we were no longer watching hey. the ETV. Hey. We had upgraded. Hey. Yeah. So, 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 so you think... Every, almost like every day we, we had to wake up, especially Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we would wake up in the middle of the night... But you're not answering the question. What is the question? The question is, is a Christian or Christian couple or people that no, are Christian? No, I answered that one. I said I do not know based on the scriptures. I've not really read any scripture talking about porn. Okay. But however, mm. the pastors have preached that it is okay. a sin. So growing up, I've always known that it's a sin. And unfortunately, it is a sin that I've been and I'm still committing. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Um, unfortunately, so, so here's the thing. You've always said that sin should be what you feel right mm -hmm. when you when be beyond the fact that it's listed in the bible because the bible talks about sexual uh, immorality mm -hmm. and sexual um, um what what right so that's what it talks about Does the bible says no, it, it doesn't talk about porn 
That's what I'm saying. Okay. Specifically, it doesn't say porn, okay. as far as I know. Okay. But uh, obviously, you people, eh, you know the Bible, eh? so you will correct me if I'm wrong. But the point that I'm trying to get to is that it talks about sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. Because most often than not, if you watch those things, you want to have an experience. Yeah. You, it might be an experience with yourself, mm -hmm. or you want to have an experience with another person. Mm -hmm. So it opens doors for certain things. And some of the people... In, in other cases, I'm not saying I know um, uh, perpetrators of rape and all these other things, but I want to believe, based on the experience that I've had in terms of uh, the edge of wanting to do these things after you have watched it, it might also be led by those kind of things. I do not know, even though we always say that it's deeper than that. But the point that I'm trying to get to is that the sexuality behind porn sort of comes with other things beyond and above um, just watching it, J. Right? For a couple, it's easier because you, you will then experience these things. But if you look at it from a Christian point of view and the sex before marriage and all those things, then it opens doors for other things that you don't want to engage those in. For premier Exactly. So now, the, the, the point of the pastors, um, for me, um, I feel that um, pastors always hide behind addiction, like you're saying. They don't necessarily say, watching it one time, eh, and you stop watching, it's fine. They always say that you will get addicted to it, and that's the problem. So I guess, yeah, in, in a way, for me, um, not me, I, 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 you know. So. Yeah, but with me, I felt like maybe at some point I thought, oh, that was just me thinking that what would make it a sin Maybe it will be the fact that, firstly, you're watching people that are not married. Mm. As a Christian, I it's, it's, it's it's sex mm. before marriage, it's, it's a sin. Mm. And you are watching people that maybe some of them were forced because we know that there are women or men mm. that have been kidnapped and forced to perform those things. Mm. Some of them are doing it because they are poor, they just want money. Mm. And it's not something that they are really enjoying and you watching it means that you are supporting that kind of a business in mm. a way so i've always thought maybe you know yeah but but here is my take right mm. um as a couple like we always have this thing of figuring things out when we are together we'll teach each other certain things mm. but there's also things that you can never teach each other because you don't know about them mm. right so you have to know about them from somewhere mm -hmm. so you get to experience that or you get to learn about those things mm -hmm. when you read or when you see those things happening mm -hmm. that's why there are books like kama sutra and all those things so yo, you yo, yo, uh, you can say it's your favorite book Aha. say it give it a, give them a shout out okay it's fine uh, say it I, I, they didn't hear the name of the book I that said you kama are sutra the one that you are reading. Hey, whatever. So the point that I'm trying to... The one to... that you read and you came and said, hey, baby, we have to try one, two, three. I was like, who? Brick and daughter. Mm. Uh, we, that, that will be our next our next uh, topic. Um, the, the uh, what do you call it? The reverse. And somebody said we must talk about yeah, it. Yeah, anal sex. Somebody yeah. did So we're going to talk about that one. Uh, yeah. Not today. Okay. Yeah, so... The point that I was trying to make is that for you to have such kind of exposure to those type of things, then maybe sometimes you need to have an experience watching those things. I don't know if you need to do that when you are still a sinner before you get saved or what. But I'm just saying that... Uh, but as a Christian, if you grew up as a Christian, you are expected to get married as a virgin. So you no, just watching and, and know that there's this kind of things, not necessarily experiencing oh, it. That's okay. all, that's, yeah, I'm not talking about experiencing it. So yeah, for me, hey, hey, hi. You took long to get to for me. I can mm. have been waiting. Yeah, so uh, I, 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 eh? So those ones that know the Bible, I, I, like my, I've already made my point in terms of it opens doors for certain things beyond um, and also what you mentioned about the, the watching of people that are not married and all this thing. So maybe that has an influence as, as well. But I guess bottom line is what are your intentions and uh, what, what, what do you do after you have watched it? I believe that when we watch things, or oh, personally, if I want to, if I want to clean, ne? I play uh, fast music. I'm mm. looking for my journey mm. or praise songs that are very fast. I know mm. I'm going to clean the whole house and mm. not get tired. And if I want to pray longer, mm. get into the worship. spirit, I will go to worship songs, I will mm. go to motivational, I will Joyce May and stuff mm. like that. If and you want to have sex, you go r &B. If I want to have and sex, I go R&B. And if I want to try something new, I go, you know, mm. and say, can I see the black big women trying this style? Mm. You know? Mm. So I feel like uh, it's uh, it works for me.
Okay. I, mean, I get motivated by seeing somebody doing something and I yeah, but it out. At the end of the day, you said what is right, do the it. Bible that I, what the feels one, right. That is my favorite verse. Everybody who knows me knows that I always quote that scripture that says, if it feels right, do it. It's not a sin. If it feels wrong, do not do it because it's a sin. Mm. So for me, it, it feels right for me to watch. I don't have a problem with it. There was a time where maybe, I think there was a time that I watched with you. I think it was the, for the first time. I'm not sure. It was a bit awkward watching, you know, but eventually it was like, oh, it's my thing, man. I enjoy it. Mm, right. But personally, I've always enjoyed watching it alone. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I would watch it alone and then, you know. Yeah, I hear you. So yeah. should, should couples then watch these things together? I think it's not a matter of saying should couple watch it. If you like it, do it. If you don't, don't do it. It's a matter of different... But here is the thing, different right? Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, but I, I want to get there. Um, to what you're saying. If you watch it, and remember, both of us cannot, it's not always that we like the same things yeah. and we won't like the same things. Mm -hmm. So, is it better for me to do it alone? Uh, I think if we enjoy, obviously we have to try it together. Mm -hmm. If we watch it together and we both enjoy it, then let's do it. Uh, but if we watch it together and it, maybe it's awkward, it's cringy, whatever, then rather I'll go and watch alone because I'm not going to say I'm going to stop. I'll rather go watch alone and because still I enjoy watching it alone. Yeah, but remember, relationships and, and marriages are all, all about a compromise, right? Yeah. And yeah, for, for things that don't hurt you, you don't feel that it's abusing you spiritually or um, it's, it has uh, negativity um, sort of uh, attached to it. You, you, you then, um, like some kind of connotation or something, you, you then, like, you don't have a reason of not compromising. So you can compromise just for your partner to also feel that I'm not doing this thing alone. Um, and I'm not talking about a partner that is just selfish about it and wants mm -hmm. to, um, even if it's that, man, even if, it, I mean, at the end of the day, they all, the doctors always say that you have to have self-pleasure um, so that you can know yourself as a woman or you know teach. yourself as a man. Yeah. So th even that, right, you, you need an enhancer sometimes in terms of such kind of videos that you will use to get to that point, right? Even though you can still use your partner, but it's not that easy. But bottom line is that you have to, both of you have to have some kind of agreement at the end of the day, as long as you two feel, I mean, one of you feels that I need to do this thing. Yeah, but Bina, my bottom line is that I love it. I love watching it. I love doing it. Do you? Mm, ah, that's that's true. Um, uh, it will be interesting what people say. But my say. do you is, is, is do you times two, like as in, do you watch it oh. or do you okay. like, do what makes you happy? That makes sense. So do, do comment down below. We'd like to hear your thoughts because like we're saying, these are interesting topics that generally people would not speak about. We want to hear what you think about it. Um, do you and your partner watch those things? If you do, what are your thoughts about it? How do you feel? Would you advise somebody else to do the same? Um, and if you don't, what are your reasons um, for not doing it? If you feel that it's a sin, please do comment down below and let's respect one another. If somebody is saying that it's a sin according to their reason, and even if they don't have a reason, it's how they feel. So respect how they feel. If you don't feel that it's a sin, it's still okay. Okay, let's all share what we think if about it. If you don't it. like the sexual content, don't watch. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this statement and putting it in the beginning, even though I won't literally do it. But please, if you don't like the content, it's okay to pass it. Thank you so much. Until next time, we love you. And from us to you, it's a good night. Renifuna Zwane. Gamanda.